okay then in case if you want to apply validations through annotations through annotations if you want to apply the same validations you can apply annotation based validations also here employee registration using annotations create a dynamic web project right click go to my clips option project facets my clip starts library here starts two libraries yeah now go through this first example itself copy this all configurations into second project and your web.xml file also copy into your second project and your index.jsp page and success pages. Just here what you should do instead of doing validations through programmatic validate method, instead of doing through this validate method what you should do using annotations I need to apply here. So annotations are allowed on top of only methods, on top of methods, method level annotations. So write a setter method for set name, for name apply validation. For name, you need to apply validations, not null validation. So that not null validation you can apply by using at the rate required string validation. There is one validation required string validation. And for this required string validation, if you want to read error messages from properties file, here we have an attribute, key attribute. In that key, pass your required message of properties file, message one from properties file. And write one more setter method here. Set name, set email. On top of this set email use, required message one and one more validation email validation also i want to apply here apply email validation email validator in case email is wrong format i'll forward one error message message two configure message three here for email format wrong format then finally one more message get set address for set address also use just to require string validator configure message here message key here message 4 ok in properties file I will change it message 3 wrong email format ok wrong email that's it now go through this application run this ok we need to have getter methods also here right on top of setter methods validations applied and to generate getter methods finally deploy and execute it employee registration using annotations start your server no request for your application name is required email is required there is no message for
I made changes on that project. Email is wrong email. Email is wrong email email format. Okay, now check it. Name is required. So pass name. Email is required. Only name if I pass. Email is wrong email format. So compulsory you need to pass a valid email format. Finally, address is required. Okay. In this way, using simple annotations, you can apply validations. Simple annotations are enough. But that annotations you have to keep on top of methods. setter methods. Okay. And we have one more approach, last validation approach. Using simple XML file. Using simple XML file. Employee registration. Employee registration operations using XML file. Using XML file validations. Okay. Now here. Hard facets. My clips. Right click, go to my clips, add library, my clips library, struts to libraries, add struts to x library. Now copy this complete content from SRC to this application SRC and web.xml file to this web.xml file and JSP pages. Okay. Finally, go to your controller class. Here, don't put any annotations and don't put any validate method. Okay. Don't use any annotations. Delete these annotations. Delete these annotations. And finally, go to XML file you need to create. XML file name should be your same B name. Employee controller hyphen validation dot xml file in same package itself you need to create okay in this xml file you are required starts two validations you need to write two examples yeah 
copy XML data here. Yeah. Here, these validations are from Open Symphony. Okay. Open Symphony validations, not Apache Commons validations. In one X, we configured with Apache Commons validations. This validation API given by Open Symphony. So, use validator in between validator for name. I require to apply validation. The field validator type for this name is required string. In case if that string, if you want to read from properties file, instead of configuring here, you can configure key here. The key is for what? Mess for message, it is message one. And for email, required string. And the key is what? Key equal to message two. And if email format is wrong, email validator. The message is? Message three. equal to message 3 finally we have one simple address for address required string address message also from properties file key equal to message 4 then you no need to worry about any configurations use that same configurations you no need to configure this validation xml file as a plugin into any other xml files you no need to configure it by following naming conventions your interceptors will execute your xml file data you can read while deploying itself, you can read while deploying itself uh, that debug statements will show us your XML file is reading. Successfully deployed, right? Just try to start your MyClips Tomcat 7 server. Start MyClips Tomcat 7. Okay, just go through execution part. Employee registration operations using XML. Name is required, email is required, address is required. Enter name, enter email, enter address. Email is wrong email format. Finally, data will be submitted. So, from debug statements, you can understand whether it is reading your XML file or not. From this lag logs, how, how we can find registration validation XML file? Yeah. In, uh, in debug statements, it is not showing, okay, but it is reading your XML file. By reading your XML file only, it is applying validations here, okay. In this way, you can apply validations for your input forms using simple programmatic approach, using simple annotations or else using simple XML file, okay. 